Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam and this is a Royal Red Butterfly Bush. This is the Fuchsia Purple Flowering Royal Red Butterfly Bush. Royal Red, like a lot of the other butterfly bushes, can end up six feet or more in height and it can actually do most of that growing in a single season. Butterfly bushes are very cold hardy. They can actually grow all the way up to zone five and down to zone nine. Butterfly bushes are definitely sun loving plants. Anything less than six hours of direct sun in this plant would do very poorly. There are some new butterfly bushes which are smaller growing cultivars that are good foundation plants. Royal Red's not one of those. This thing's gonna get six feet plus every single season. It really needs to be planted out away from a foundation. This thing looks fantastic with white perfusion. Uh, these, this kind of fuchsia color and that white look fantastic together. If you could get two of these and one of those or something like that and plant them in a cluster, it's really, really very showy. Of course, the primary feature of butterfly bushes are these incredible flowers, which are just starting now in the late spring and early summer. Every single one of these will bloom with these long clusters, which will come all the way out to the end here and then side branches will form from there, and these will be the next set of flowers, and then side branches will form on the side of those, and that will continue all summer long, and they'll end up blooming the entire summer as long as they're getting adequate moisture. Of course, they attract lots and lots of butterflies and other pollinators during the season. The back of the leaves on butterfly bushes are like a silver color, and it's quite nice when the wind blows them around. I've included videos in the description of this video for planting woody trees and shrubs, depending on what soil type you have. There's not really a lot to know on these. We don't wanna plant them too deep. We don't wanna over mulch them. And we wanna make sure we're putting them in a place that is also dry in the winter time. Some places that seem to be well draining in the spring or early summer or actually end up being very wet in the winter time and you definitely want to avoid that with a butterfly bush. I would put butterfly bushes in the very drought tolerant category, but they bloom on new growth throughout the summer. And so if you let the thing get too dry during the summer months, you'll definitely cut down on the amount of flowering it's doing. So this is a plant that you're gonna to wanna to check on periodically. If you see it wilting or you see some yellow leaves in the interior of it and start shedding some leaves, you're definitely gonna to wanna to water these and just drag a water hose to it, saturate the entire area around it very thoroughly and then let it become slightly dry again. Like I said, butterfly bushes bloom on new growth and one way of course we can encourage more new growth is with fertilizer. So I would definitely fertilize these in late winter, early spring, about time you start seeing it break dormancy, uh, some new foliage coming out on it. Any kind of slow release fertilizer that lasts three to four months for outdoor plants would be fine on these. Pruning is the number one issue on butterfly bushes. They have to be pruned back to probably 18 inches in height every winter, and they'll return all the way back to their full height in a single season. If you don't do that pruning on it, uh, and it ends up being a very, very woody beast, gets too tall, and you'll have problems with it blowing over, ice getting on it, and it's pulling itself out of the ground, and cracking open, all kinds of problems. You really need to do this. Don't do it until you start to see some new growth on it in the early spring. If you prune these back in November or December or January, and it will definitely be tempting to do it because they're not very attractive in the wintertime. If you do that, they actually have hollow stems on the older growth. Water can get down in those stems and that freeze thaw in the wintertime can end up cracking the base on them. So between that issue and them st and potentially staying too wet in the wintertime in the space that they're in are probably the two biggest killers of butterfly bushes. Wait to prune them, Plant them a little high, make sure it's not a space that's gonna stay wet in the wintertime. We don't get a lot of chewing insects on butterfly bushes. They are susceptible to spider mites. Tend to see it pretty badly in the nursery because we crowd them so close together. As long as you're not crowding them too close together, it probably won't be an issue for you. They are very susceptible to root rot, especially the first winter after they're planted. Butterfly bushes are pretty much considered deer proof. Deer rarely ever mess with these. So what are you waiting for? Even you can grow the beautiful fuchsia colored Royal Red Butterfly Bush. Thank you for watching my video, and if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any questions you have about butterfly bushes. Thanks again.